This is me after editing, just a quick disclaimer here that this video is here only for educational use and if you want to see the uncensored version of this then you have to go over to my Patreon because I did try really really hard to have this uncensored on YouTube but uh, it did not work so yeah. Yo yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist and recently I got a THC testing device and we've been going around loads of different cities testing random people's bud to see who has the highest THC percentages but the most requested thing I've had from you guys is for me to test my own bits right and if you watch my Twitch streams you know I test my bits pretty much every single day but I figured just one nice YouTube video where I get all the bits of bud I've got and test them uh, I figured that would be a nice little thing and I'm, I'm pretty stacked right now so it's a pretty good day to be able to make this video so that's what we're doing. Now quickly before we get into this video though, we need to have a message from our sponsor of the day, Discreet Seeds. Yo, Discreet Seeds have pretty much every single brand of seed that you could ever want. Like they have some crazy genetics over there and you can get 10% off with discount code DREW10. And not only do you get 10% off when you use discount code DREW10, but you also get one free seed of the Taste Buds Blackberry Moon Rocks, which is testing out at 33% but these are obviously for novelty use only. So people, if you would like to check out Discreet Seeds, make sure to check them out in the pinned comment down below. Like I said, they have every single type of genetic you could ever want. Some of my favorites over there. And like I said, make sure you use discount code DREW10 because otherwise you're missing out on 10% off. So thank you guys for supporting the sponsors. Even just going over to the website really does help. So thank you guys and let's get on with this video. So we have quite a few things here. Let me just go through what we've got. So to show you guys what we are going through today, we have uh, two different Grey Man genetics bits. We have the Project 007 and the uh, Rainbow Bagel. We have the Flumps by Nature Boys. We have the UK Zos. We have the PB Souffle by Fire Drops. Uh, we've got the Deep East Rainbow Sherba, the UK Smoothie, Blue Zushi, an unopened pack of Canatik White Raspberry Gelato. I actually didn't like this when I tried another pack. That's why this one's unopened, but it says 27%, so it'd be interesting to test this one. And we have some CBD here. All right, we're starting off with the Grey Man Genetics, the Rainbow Bagel. Oh, smells absolutely beautiful. Oh my God. Sweet, so I guess we have to start off the first test. We are scanning it, seeing what it's saying. This is the Rainbow Bagel. Oh, 24%. Starting it off really good. And the moisture level is quite high as well, but 24% on the Grey Man Genetics Rainbow Bagels, that is Really fucking good. That's a really good result. Hell yeah. Rainbow bagels. Okay, so next up we have another Grey Man Genetics one. This is the Project 007. Oh, wow. This smells great. The next Grey Man one is on the way. This is the Project 007. Damn, I almost forgot what it was just then. 21%. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. I think last time when I tested this on stream, we had a 20% result. And I'm pretty sure the last time I tested the rainbow bagels, we had a 22% result. So both of these coming back sort of within 1%, 2%, depending on which nug, um, you know, you end up testing. That's really good. And yeah, in case you guys don't know, I do usually test all my bud on stream. So I'm just saying you should come over to the Twitch stream to see all these tests when they first happen. But anyways, this was the uh, project... 007. Oh, that smells really nice. This is the uh, the Flumps by Nature Boys. I have not tested this one yet, so I have no idea even the uh, the range of results that we could be looking at. I would guess probably like high teens, maybe low 20s, but I'm assuming high in the teens. Oh, okay, okay, 21%. Higher than what I thought it was going to be. I'll give it that. I thought it was going to come out like 17, 18%, so 21%. That's sick. This is the last of the big jars. This is the UK Zos. Which apparently, it's it's not the best batch of the UK Zos it's ever been. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be in this jar for a while until the Terps start coming out a little bit more. I mean, hopefully they start coming out more. And again, on this one, I'm expecting this to come out like high teens, low 20s, because again, I have not tested it. So the Zos, yeah, after grinding that up, I'm definitely expecting in the high teens. I, I'll be surprised if it breaks to 20. It might, but I'll be surprised. 23%! <laughs> I really wasn't expecting that. Like, sometimes the nugs can be deceiving. Like, especially looking at this. Um, this is... This is what the nugs looking like. And 
I just I was you know so leafy in some parts that I was not expecting it to come out. Um, like look at that, like so leafy in some parts. I was barely expecting it to get 20% to be honest. So um, yeah, that's sick. Oh yeah, and I figured I'd mention this here. Yeah, I do clean the tester out between each test. I saw some people chatting utter shit about me somewhere. Yeah, trying to claim that I wasn't cleaning out the grinder or I wasn't cleaning out the tester between tests. Like just because I don't keep it in the video doesn't mean I don't do it. If 50% of the video was me cleaning the tester, because it does take way longer to clean a tester than it does to test something, the video would be boring. So any of you guys who were chatting utter wass about me, trying to say that all of this is invalid because I'm not cleaning my things, shut up, man. Like, what? <laughs> I always find it so weird when people just assume something for no reason. It makes no sense. Anyways, figured I'd mention that here in case anyone was wondering, especially after the 23% result, because someone, someone's gonna be like, yo, it probably was under 20, but you didn't clean the ting, which isn't the case, so fuck you. So I think we're gonna move on to the PB Souffle by Fire Drops. This, I don't have the best nugs of this one. That's the only thing. I do not have the best nugs, but I do still have high hopes. I'm pretty sure I have tested this before, but I can't remember what it tested out to. 24%, all right, sweet. I I'm pretty sure that's the same result that we had on the PB Souffle when I last tested it a couple weeks ago. Fire drop stuff is always coming out between sort of like 23, 26%. I don't think I've ever had anything by fire drops under like 22, I don't think. Next up, we're gonna test the UK smoothie. I'm kind of excited for this one because I mean, it, this one like is, it feels very resinous. Like, you know when you feel a nug and it's like that dank sticky icky that like Snoop Dogg raps about and that. So like, I feel like maybe this one could come out to like 25 percent but it also might not all right the uk smoothie is being tested fun fact as well this is like one of the last batches of uk smoothie ever i'm pretty sure they're not running it anymore so um let's see what's it what it's saying okay 21 percent a little bit this even on the frost i thought maybe we could have got like a 25 result with this one but alas no oh this smells so good this deep east rainbow shoba Let's see what it's saying. I'm like 99% sure that I tested a nug of this on stream and I think it came out at 20% on the dot. So let's see, have I got a better nug than what I had on stream or have I got a worse one or is it gonna be exactly the same? Ah, a little bit worse, a little bit worse, but not too much worse. 18% compared to the 20% result that I got on the stream. Meh, nugs coming out pretty much the same. Sweet, we're coming up close to the end now. We got the Zushi. Oh, wow. This is like one of the best batches of Zushi I've ever had. Now, I have tested this already on stream, and it didn't come out the highest. <laughs> Came out like 19%. <laughs> Which, to be honest, if you look at the nugs, it's what you would expect. God damn it, somebody called me while I was doing the test for the Zushi, so I can't use the clip because it has their number come up on the screen. Um, but uh, yeah, Zushi, 22%, coming out really good actually, coming out 3% higher than the nug I tested on stream. So I know this is one of the main ones you guys been waiting for. The Canatique that claims 27.38% on the uh, side of the pack, so let's uh, Let's see what this is really testing at. <laughs> All right, the Canatique claiming 27%. Let's see what it's really at. <laughs> they actually ain't lying, you know. A lot of the, a lot of the Cali packs, they straight lie. <laughs> and like they'll pick out like the best of the best nug. This they must must have actually done it right. And um yeah, done like an average because bam, that's come out on point. Also, for anyone who ever says that my pack's fake, yeah. Fuck you, man. So finally, the CBD one. I guess this is mainly just to show that the tester uh is real because <laughs> some people doubt it um some people think it just spits out random numbers which it does not so finally the cbd one the cbd one it does have a test result on it but it says plus eight percent so that could be anywhere from eight to like twenty percent uh but 
Let's see what it's saying. Hopefully it has no THC in it. Hey, there you go. 14% <laughs> on the CBD. No THC to register. So that was every single bit of bud that I have tested on my machine. And I want to know from you guys, was there anything that tested completely different to what you thought it would? Like based on the looks or based on just what you know or have you tried it? Like was there anything that you were expecting to be higher or lower? I would love to know in the comments down below. And remember people, I live stream every single day over on Twitch. So if you want to see me do this stuff live and actually consume it and all of that stuff, come over onto the Twitch stream. I stream every single day at 9 p.m. but sometimes it's 11 p.m. so check out my Instagram story to make sure the time I'm actually going live. And people, make sure to check out the sponsor of today. They're linked in the pinned comment down below big love to discreet seeds and uh yeah people make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it hit the subscribe button just down here and the notification bell so that way you can get notified every single time i upload a youtube video so people thank you very much i'll see you soon i'll see you on a live stream later today have a good one peace